Day one in Japan. Got a few things to do today. I slept rubbish. Kept on waking up and I don't know if that's the jet lag. I've never really flown this far before. Just waiting for the train. We've got two trains to get today to get to our first destination, which is the home of Mr. Streeter. He was the man who sorted out loads of stuff for me to do in Osaka. We're going to be seeing a lot of him over the next couple of videos. But our first, our main objective for today is to go to Zero Fighter, which is the shop who run the Honda One Mate Championship that we're racing in this weekend. But also they're providing me a Civic rental. I think it's an EK9, but we need to double check. Uh, I've just missed the train a little bit. I was messing about with the ticket machine. The tickets are a bit stranger. You don't just say where you want to go. You say how much you're going to pay. And then from that, you have to work out if you've paid enough to get to where you're going. So it's not just like saying, oh, you know, return to Leeds, mate, or something like that, which might cost you about seven pounds. I had to work out how many stops I needed, which was two, and that cost me 170 yen, which is less than a pound. Looks like the train approaching now, so yeah, hopefully this is the one. I'm a little bit late. Sorry, Jesse. Train approaching. It's playing a jingle because there's a train approaching. Osaka loop line. Hmm. I don't know if this is the right train. Well, everyone's getting on to it, so it must be. Let's do it. I was 60 yen short on my estimate. Oh. Right, so I had to pay an additional 60 yen then to get on. I must have miscalculated, hey, 60 yens. Well, 60 yen, about 30 pence. So, no dramas there. We're just waiting for the train now. Uh, I didn't get on the train. It said something about semi-express. And uh, <laughs> I got scared. We need to get off at uh, Kitanoda Station, which is not too far away. Oh, I could have got on that one, apparently. Oh, never mind. Three minutes till the next one, that'll be all right. Might have some beef jerky. Plastic straw. Didn't see one of those for a while. <laughs> I just got off at Kitanoda Station. Yeah, Japanese is coming on. Now I've got about a kilometre walk, which is about 0.6 mile. And then we'll go and see Jesse and then get on to Zero Fighter. Big building that. Suzuki Subaru. Hmm. Wow, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Stomping. But I think I might be able to see the car. Wow, wow, is it very nice? <laughs> oh, hello there. That's our rental car. And where's Jesse? All right, we're in the Alto. Just had the first filling up experience. Interesting. Free air though. Put some wind in your tyres for nothing. We just saw a Citroen C6. <laughs> Hi Jesse. Oh, Red Evo. It's Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Flat out. Just arriving at Zero Fighter. I'm not going to show the camera in anyone's faces, but I'll, uh, I'll show you what's going on in a minute. I've got some gifts for them as well from the Yorkshire lands. There's an Alfa Romeo there as well, eh? Oh, lots of cool stuff going on here. All right, big camera time. So we're at Zero Fighter. Cool name. If you're into your history, don't look it up. Zero Fighter. No, it's. Uh, a specialist Honda shop. They've got the name everywhere. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff in the shop. We might have a little look at in a moment, but what we're doing at the minute is having a look at this EK rental car, yeah? So I'm renting an EK9. It turns out the EK9 that I'm renting for the race this weekend actually has a bit of history. They were just telling me an ex, an ex champion for the, the circuit that we're going to, Central Circuit, used to run this car as his own personal car. It's an EK9 race base, but it's also an EK9 that's already you know, raced and won, so <laughs> could be the one, right? I'm just going to give you a little tour of the car park and we'll go and see the car. All right, so what we've got in the car park then, the first one, Alpha 75. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
EG, EG, loads of Hondas. So Zero Fighter run the championship that we're racing as well. So they do a couple of different rental cars. This one's on wets. EK, and this is a, a very nice FD2, right? Civic Type R, the Jap only one. Looks like you've been in for a bit of uh, body work on the front, maybe. RPF ones with centre caps. Uh. Uh. Well, you know, if they do it in Japan. And the owner of this shop, Daisuke, I'm probably not going to say his name right, but I tried. There we go, you can have a go. You say it at home if you want. He's just over there speaking to Jesse at the minute. This is his car. We'll be racing against him. So the class that we're in, we're all B16s, all 1600s. Um, tire choice is pretty free. This one's on Yokohama at the minute, I think. Yeah, A050. But it looks like it could be raining. It looks like it could be a, a wet race. But yeah, my car's just over here. It's an EK9 race base. And it's all stripped out inside. Just the Recaro seat, which I'm going to make some minor adjustments to. I'm going to get some camera mounts set up as well and some video mounts. Look like they're still using the standard airbox. That's interesting, isn't it? Got some gold race tape on it, but yeah, still using the OEM factory airbox. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff in this shop. I guess these are mostly customer cars. The fourth gen there and a, and a CRX. And a uh, MX-5 in a dress. Have off, yeah. Looks like it's got some bits going on. Is that a turbo? Multi air turboed, huh? I thought they were all naturally aspirated. Another EK9. There's all sorts of stuff in here. I don't want to be going too mad, pointing cameras in people's faces. He said we can video what we want. We'll have to have a look at the shop before we go as well. But oh, there's a an EK or an EG there with some accident damage. Yeah, lots of cool stuff going on here. The uh, original owner of my EG, Chris, actually had a picture here a few years ago. I think I've got a sticker on my car from the Zero Fire. But yeah, this is the car. So I'm going to get some cameras set up in it now. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do for the, the rest of the day. But we've got that Alto. We've got the Alto, which is just out here. So thanks to Jesse. I didn't want to point the camera in his face either. <laughs> I don't think he really wants to be on, on camera that much, but rather than me rent a car, he's lending me this also. And this is the same car that we'll be racing next weekend in a little K car race. Yeah, it took us a while to get here on some uh, expressways and stuff, but yeah, good fun. But anyway, I'm gonna get some stuff set up now. I don't wanna take up too much of Jesse's time. I'm very grateful for him to spare a few hours to bring me here. So yeah, I'll be driving home in that, eh? Should be good. I'll set some cameras up in there, but for now, I need to get some stuff set up in this EK. All right, I've just adjusted the seat and started putting some things into the EK. Watch the door. So I've just dropped the seat down at the front. I'm very, uh, I'm very fussy about the seating position, but I think it's one of the most important things to get right in a car. Once you're comfortable, you can do anything and I'm pretty comfortable now. The seat rail, the slider. Oh, I don't really like sliders, but uh, I guess it's a rental car, so it makes sense for them to have that. They're gonna rig up a power source for me because I brought my Garmin for me for the lap timer. Um, there's no, no clocks on the car. It's just a, a digital kind of uh, RPM and then speedo through that. Um, there's no proper fire suppression either, which is a bit different to, to my car, obviously. There is a, a handheld extinguisher there, but there's not like a proper suppression system, but yeah, I've started getting my uh, voice recorder stuff in. This one's actually owned by Ben Rushworth. He's lent me it and I've still got it, so thank you very much. And some camera mounts that I'm just gonna test now and, and see how they look. Um, but yeah, yeah, getting set up. Oh, I need to put a mount in for the Garmin camera as well and, and do some wiring for that. I think I brought it. Let's check. I bought a Beastie backpack. And yeah, uh, one of my mates giving me this as well. It's quite a good little camera thing for it. Cheers for bringing me, Jesse. Can't see you. You're all blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the car that we're going to be racing against, or one of. There's over 20 cars in my race, um, all 1600s. Are these all the cars there, yeah? Yeah, we're going to be racing all of those. Oh, wow. 
Not many EKs. No. Seems to be mostly EG, but you said there's gonna be some EFs as well, maybe? I don't think so. No, maybe not? No. But yeah, the class I'm gonna be racing in is all basically 1600s. It's meant to be like a kind of spec racing, but, but not quite. The rules are a little bit open, but they're also kind of closed in a sense that the racing should be fair. We should be able to have some, some good battles anyway, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish off getting some cameras in. Is this one racing again, do you think? This one was racing? Yeah. I think they're all of them, so one, two, three. They're going to need like a car transport to get them all there. Well, I think it's multiple. So <laughs> Got some battle scars on these ones. A colour match duct tape on the back of here. Wow. Some door bashing been going on. <laughs> the real mix of Yokohama and Dunlop. Well, I've seen AO50s. I've seen a lot of AO50s. This is a rain tire, right? These are the ones I'll probably be running. They're not very good unless it's really good. Cool. Well, I guess maybe not 50. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we are just talking about weight. Obviously, uh, when we were racing the MR2, as you might remember, I lost a bit of weight last year to be competitive. But over Christmas and stuff, <laughs> I'm about 95 kilos now. And I got down to 83 last year. So a big difference there, I know. I've been eating more because I've been, you know, doing all the liftings and all that, but... Um, yeah, I'm a little bit heavier than what I'd like to be, and most of these guys are probably going to be you know, 20, 30 kilos less than me, and there's no weight limits in this. It's all just the car that's the limit, and the driver's just the driver, I guess. So, yeah, we're going to be a bit of a, a weight disadvantage, but just a bit of fun, isn't it? Let's not try and be too serious. So Jesse's going to be racing with us as well. But he was just telling me about his car being super illegal, so they've made him a new class. Um, because you were obliterating everyone last year, right? Yes. <laughs> so these cars have actually all got, or they're all meant to have, rubber bushes, which is an interesting one. You're not allowed poly or any spherical upgrades. Uh, coilovers are free, but you've got to have the standard brakes, which obviously I'll be more than used to. I guess pads will be free as well. Yeah, just looking around at some of the, the competitors' cars that we're going to be racing against. It does seem like EG is... Uh, more common choice for the class. And Jesse had an EG as well, but yeah, we're in an EK. There'll be a few EKs all right. I mean, this is an EK and we're gonna be racing against him. Seems weird to see the RPF1s with the center caps. Yeah, it's a bit tough, it? <laughs> Especially when you've got to pay extra for them. Cool, right, let's get this car set up. We'll stop taking up all of your day. <laughs> Busy man. Do you wanna plug what you do? No, no. He sells toilet paper. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, we're just about all set up. There's a few things that I forgot to bring that are still in my uh, suitcase in my little apartment. My little 1K apartment, but we've got cameras rigged. Audio rigged. I've put a suction mount in. Sorry, not a suction mount. I've put a little mount in for pedal cams as well down there. And the Garmin camera is up there as well, but I've not brought any of the other gear to rig it up. They're going to put me a cigarette lighter in so I can power the Garmin. So hopefully that'll be all right. But hey, look at that. Stock top mounts. Is it stock top mount? I don't know. These guys have just finished lunch, so it's all getting a bit noisy in here. But I did notice something that I just wanted to show you quickly under the uh, hoods so well first of all look forced wheels apparently that's a race based thing also I was looking at the the lock wire on the reservoir for the clutch and the brake that's pretty cool isn't it brake stopper not seen one of those for a while fancy plug leads and a nice radiator look at the uh, look at the neck on the outlet that's cool isn't it proper stuff oh and the battery it's got a uh, Little go kart, uh, what they call them, the scooter batteries. Yeah. Do you remember we fitted one of those to the AMR2 a few weeks ago? Well, we fitted one originally and then a few weeks ago. Things are still running then, the lead acids. But yeah, we're all done here now. So, time for some Alto shenanigans. So, thanks to Zero Fighter starting the car out. Oh, I best go settle the bill actually. Yeah, let's go do that and then we'll get off.
welcome to lunch at uh, Miller's Burger. Is there a sign in there? Oh, we'll get the sign on the way out. But the auto is just out there chilling. You can't see it. Security guard. Oh, there you go. Cheeky little thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look. Miller's Burger. So this is a Moss Burger. Got some kind of like, I don't know, bolognese stuff, maybe? Some onion there, some cheese. Yeah. Alright, that was a Moss Burger, or a Miller's Burger. <laughs> a little bit different. We did drive past the McDonald's. I, I will try some Japanese food, right? I will try some Japanese food, but yeah, we're just heading back now to Jesse's place and then I don't know what I'll do for the rest of the day. This is race car number two, as you can tell. We'll do a video on it later on, but Jesse's lending me this car. We've got the race next weekend in the K cars, which is what this is, little Alto. Uh, yeah, anyway, Moss Burger, nice. Weird sauce, yeah, good chicken. All right, we made it back to Sakai. This is a, a fun thing to drive, little nugget, yeah? I use that term a lot. It's uh, pretty crashy on the road and the exhaust's pretty rattly and yeah, it's an experience. It's not something I'm used to driving at all, but very grateful to the man who doesn't want to be on camera <laughs> for, uh, for letting me use it. And we're going to be racing it next weekend. But this weekend, Civics, and this is Jesse's car. This is a EG, the EG6? Yeah. yeah. And he's raced this quite a few times, as you can see. Now we won't be racing against it because it's in a, a class above. It's got, you know, carbon panels and lightweight doors. Very lightweight doors, there's nothing in there. Just, hello. <laughs> and this Recaro seat, I've never seen one of these before. It's like a plastic composite. And then just some little inserts. It's almost like a stock car, stock car racing seat. But yeah, I guess that's probably super lightweight, but yeah, I can't see it being too much fun on the road. Yeah, look, it's absolutely crammed full of wheels and tyres. And that's why we've come here, because uh, it looks like it might rain this weekend. And as part of my rental with Zero Fighter, I've got some new tyres, but they're, um, well, they're, they're Dunlops. Most of the tyres here are Dunlops, the Mail 52's there, but they're a dry weather compound that I've got. And Jesse's got some rain tires here, so we're just kind of deciding what we're gonna do. This roof's cool, huh? The channels, the air channels. Uh, but in the garage next door, there's something maybe a little bit cooler. What do you think? <laughs> you say you've raced this as well? Yeah. Door to door? Yeah, it's a <laughs> Nice. So, yeah, if you don't know what this is, this is a uh, American car. <laughs> There can't be many of these here, right? No. Oh, that's Where are they? Oh, EP. Yeah, those discs are huge, man. Essex. Huh. And on the disc belt, it says Essex. Yeah. So yeah, this is a, a Z06 that he uses. Also for our racing and... Did you say you've done some time attack in it? No, no time. Either. No, just door to door stuff. Only door to door. <laughs> I really like the headlights. I thought these were aftermarket, but it tells me they're original. Do you know what Moret headlights are? No. no, they're the European thing. This is this is that kind of style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's no, funny. The Americans don't like it. They swap them out. Oh really? To like LED sort of things. Yeah, this is a very like European, like late nineties, early two thousands kind of style. Mm -hmm. Like even like Peugeots and stuff started having it from the factory from Fun Point. Yeah. yeah. What did you say the width was on the rear? Uh, 12s, I think, or are they 13s? What? Yeah, the standards are 335. Man. You see some of the tires back there. These are the, the cooler, deep paper 18 by 11 as I run. What? And then Got a girth on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got some width. Wow. And they're 18 by 11s as well, Z40, take the box off the underwear. Z40 is one of my favourites. Oh, that's got some weight to it. Yeah. What PCD is the Corvette? 
multiply by 120. Oh, BMW Point, spec. Yeah, close enough. 0.65. Oh, Imperial. Uh, <laughs> so, 0. 0.65. These are actually BMW M3 wheels. Yeah. And then I run wobble bolts. Like these nuts. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Sketch. With a, um, <laughs> wobble bolts on the car there. Yes, with a wing. What's the wing from? Uh, RX7 Esprit. It's cool. Got some exhaust going on as well. Yeah, that's actually one of the things I'm going to change. I'm going to put, because it doesn't have headers or anything. It's going to be headers, straight pipes, and just done. Because <laughs> it's too quiet. Is there much noise regulation in Japan? <sighs> Neighbours. Neighbours. We, we have a, are the trouble. We've got a problem in the UK with noise at the minute. It's getting worse as well. Well, I mean, technically there, there is, but it's not enforced. But yeah, all of this black shit, that's from, you should know that, that's from racing. Yeah. All, that's from a 992, 991 GT3 I was chasing. This is tyre marks from a Porsche <laughs> racing. Where did you race it? Central. Central. Yeah. Nice. So, nice collection. All right, another quick stop off before we get back. Remember this race we're doing next weekend, a little K car race, just for a bit of fun, right? It's going to be 50 cars on a small track. A bit like that Driftland thing we did a few years ago, but obviously a lot more uh, Japanese and just a bit of fun, no one's taking it seriously. Other than Jesse, <laughs> who's <laughs> prepped this Honda today with his T37s and uh, he's got his rear. Oh, I thought it was a Recaro seat, but it's not. Is it a Recaro seat? No, Maybe it's not. Oh, but yeah, you've got T37s on for the K car race. Defies. Defies. Huh? The Defies. What Defies? Oh shit. <laughs> How much data do you need from the 660cc? <laughs> it's not a turbo, this is it? No. no. You might not remember, but back in the day, Josh used to have one of these as a daily, just like this. I think it was an automatic though. I think it was the first car we tried to do uh, neutral drops in <laughs> back in the day. This is a, a manual though, of course. It looks quite nice, man. Looks... You said it was rough. Where's the rust? Yeah. Open the door and have a look in the... Door seals up in the inside. It's really bad. Like, oh, there's a little, no, little no, bit. Like on the inside edge. So if you're sitting inside the car looking out, right, like along that edge, it's like. Well, it's well let's not let's not ruin the Mirage because it's yeah, it looks kind of nice from here. Oh, you got four USB parts. That's crazy. <laughs> All the gadgets. Oh, and the Garmin mount. Yeah, I see what you mean there. Yeah. And what's the trick? What's the M trick? Multi-throttle response something. <laughs> Engine control or something. You didn't get the ITVs from the, the beat then? Yeah, that's that's what it is. Oh, it is? That's what M trick is. That's ah. Oh, this one's seen us up there, yeah? Uh... Is that Cusco? Yes. <laughs> Coilovers too? Oh, yeah, all of them. Your Elder's got them. The Alto's got coilovers. That explains a lot. Look at that, what a ride. Well, I'm gonna do a full review on that car soon. Don't, don't worry about it, we'll get to it. It's good to drive in many ways. Look at that, lovely thing. Now this looks almost too, too nice to do, but then you see all the bashes in the door, so maybe not. What was the... It's already on two ah. injuries. You got it branded up. Is this a tax write-off vehicle? The demonstration vehicle, yeah? This is the demo for a serious Have you won the race before? I've entered it once with the Alto. No, twice with the Alto, and uh, we didn't do very well. Um, nice to meet you. Yes. Still got aircon? Yeah. It worked? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right. Nice. I can't remove the working aircon. Does it work in the Alto? No. It does not. <laughs> Engine's kind of, is that? Yeah, it's like 45 or whatever. Whoa. Yeah, it's wonderful. Nose heavy, no? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's three cylinder as well, yeah? Yeah, 660, three cylinder. Single cam. It looks clean in the engine bay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Low mileage, maybe. A little bit, but the rust is bad. You've been plugging in some extra sensors for your defies. Yes, it's where the sensors go. <laughs> What's the other sensors for? What's the... Um, you got oil temperature and oil, stuff. Oil, water, We've all got window nets in Japan. I've noticed this. 
Everyone loves a wind donut. Is that a regulation thing? Can't wind yeah. the window down. Oh, yeah. So you can't wind the window down unless you've got a net. Whereas in the UK, they normally let us crack it a little bit. But yeah, if you want your window down, you've got to have a net. Makes sense. There's some LEDs on the go as well. <laughs> nice wheel. I've just been reminded, I just had it pointed out, like this is a DC2 type bag in on. Hey. And no, I didn't spot it first hand, so clearly I am lacking in the, the Honda. But it's quite a cool Honda, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Look at the fuel cans. Boss. Oh, Costco. He's put some effort into this. Look at the braces. This is only meant to be a bit of fun. So he says. Oh, look at the rust. I can see the rust now in the daylight. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, look at this. This is, this is a tight thing. Oh, this is a hole here. Yeah. Nice. Right, well that about wraps up day one in Japan, sponsored by Street Cop. Thank you very much for the rental, sir. Yeah, we're doing some Civic racing on Sunday with Jesse, he'll be there. We're not racing in the same class, but should be a good day on Sunday. And then, like I say, the weekend after next Sunday, we'll be racing some K-cars. And yeah, I'm sharing this Suzuki Alto with a chap called Hayden, which I've not met, I've not met him yet. Um, another Australian guy, I think, by the sounds of it. But yeah, just uh, got a good day, good good first day in Japan. Yeah, yeah. That Moss Burger, Miller's Burger was was quite nice. Everyone at Zero, very nice people. Thank thank you very much. I think I'll probably make a video between then and now. We were just deciding. Jesse wants to show me the mountains um, on Friday night, and that'll either be in one of his drift cars. I'll have to try and be a good passenger. I've got some sickness tablets. I'll I'll try and take, and we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Um, but if that doesn't happen, then we're going to go out in the K cars and do some. Do some testing so do some do some testing of the k cars in the mountains so yeah there'll be uh, some more videos to come before the civic racing but yeah i need to get back to my digs now because i've got so many videos to edit i'm currently i've got e61 update mr2 revival uh donnington park uh, i've got the video to come where i'm telling you that i'm coming to japan i need to get through it all man so that's all from this one Thanks for watching, first day in Japan. Feeling good. We'll probably have uh, another 50 or 60 to go. So, hmm. Remember, one-way ticket. The second round of this Honda one-way championship is the 11th of May. And I think I might stick around to see that, to do it, to do it again. If it's good this weekend, we might stick around and do it again. So, thanks for watching. Dan in Japan. Not sure what I call this series yet. That's got a decent ring to it, hasn't it? Travel time, travel vlogs. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, driving in Japan, there's a lot of toll roads on the motorway, expressway they call them. But luckily we've got dual coin holders, so yeah, we can uh, pay the tolls. Hopefully it's no more than 350 yen, otherwise I'm out of luck, but. I'll cover that more on my review video. We'll take this for a rip somewhere and do a nice little review on it, I think. The old nugget with the posh engine oil. <laughs> yeah.